What's going on, guys? I want to talk about this article. I found this article while I was looking around doing some research from May the 19th of this year, and it was from mirror.co.uk. And it is about singer Mel B, aka Scary Spice, revealing that she regrets her breakup from her soulmate and love of her life, Eddie Murphy. Now, you know, hindsight is 2020. Um, anybody who understands Mel B's situation knows what she just recently went through a separation from her husband of 10 years, uh, Stephen Belafonte. And that marriage was pretty much a train wreck. Uh, you can go and do the research on it. I'm going to speak on that briefly while I discuss this article. But looking at what she has been through and how toxic of a situation she was in, whether it was self-inflicted or self-inflicted or not. Now she is being honest with herself and other people about how much she really loved Eddie Murphy. And for those of you who don't know, she had, she got pregnant by Eddie Murphy and she ended up leaving him right around that time. Uh, 2006. This was right. I think it was right during the time he was going through his divorce from his first wife. And in the article, she's speaking about uh, them basically starting a life together. And I'm going to get to it, but I just want to say this though. You know, there's a lot of women now, I'm starting to see it, who are regretting the decisions that they made when they were younger. That is why when you are at your physical peak, right? When, you, you, when you're when you at uh, your best, you need to choose wisely and make the right decision. I know we all make mistakes, but when it comes to dating in the social circles that you're around, you have to make the right decisions because you may end up in a situation like Mel B where you basically, you leave one situation that you were happy in and you end up going to a situation that you completely dread. Now, let's get to the article. It says, when Mel B's eyes met Eddie Murphy's across a crowded room, she knew he was her soulmate and the love of her life, which is why it hurts the Spice Girl so much that she let him slip through her fingers after less than a year together. They were in a secret relationship, so to speak. Nobody really knew that they were dating. People knew that, you know, she had his kid. But nobody knew that they were actually in a relationship. Because even Eddie denied being the father of her of her daughter. You know? People thought that they were just messing around. Because again, Eddie was just coming out of his, you know, first marriage. And I don't think he was really maybe he was, but because he ended up getting engaged again uh, after this. But I just think that in that particular time frame, she wasn't ready for all that, you know. Uh, let's see. The comedy legend treated her to private jet flights to exotic locations, and there was talk of marriage. But when she fled Los Angeles for Leeds while pregnant after a disagreement over where they would live, it all fell apart. That's her taking a risk, you know. I, and, and the thing is, man, <laughs> you have to understand the situations. And, I'll, and I'm going to get to that a little later. We had something special that I've never really truly felt with anybody else, she recalls. I've thought I've had it, but they've lied. It was pure. He is the love of my life. He always will be. Mel's 2006 relationship with Eddie looked like a fling at the time with that with, with what appeared to be an unplanned pregnancy and him disputing paternity but according to the 43 year old nothing can be further from the truth he showed me what true love feels like and for that i have the utmost admiration and respect for him says mel who had previously been married to dancer jimmy Gulzar. 
Uh, she and Eddie hit it off after meeting at a party at his home in Beverly Hills in June of 2006. He had already contacted her and tried to take her out. The mom of three male remembers being very nervous, but also stunned by how quickly she fell for him. See, Eddie got that charm, man. Look at all the women Eddie be with. Say whatever you want about Eddie Murphy. He has a certain charm that women like. You know, they just do. And that's why you put the, the caliber of women he's been with up with other with other uh, male celebrities, man. You know, and and just just by how much she gushed over Eddie in this article, lets you know that you know Eddie was a dude, man. <laughs> okay, Eddie had that charm that you know has this woman to this day still in love with him, even after they fell out. You know. Uh, let's see. He wanted to have a date with me, but myself, I was like, no, get him to do a dinner party at his house or something like that. So I went along to his house and there was a massive, massive dinner party going on. I'm like, oh my God, where is he? We first met, I saw him across the room. He saw me and then I freaked out because I've never had somebody look at me like that it was such a familiar look as in it felt like home i could see my soulmate so i ran to the restroom then i left and went home it's all about that look man i think and a lot of guys gotta look at it this way <clears throat> a lot of dating coaches will tell you this they, they i think they tell you this but i think it goes from one ear and out the other you know uh, it's all about being able to make eye contact if you're able to make eye contact with a woman, you know, that seeps into her mind and into her soul, you know, and you can, and you can literally control the mood, her mood, just by how you look at them, you know, she can go from not knowing who you were from looking, staring you in the eyes, wanting to know more, you know? Shaken Mel made up an excuse that she was going to find she was going to a friend's party at the plush um, Mondrian Hotel in West Hollywood, but Eddie called her bluff and moved his party there. That's that's move Eddie. Real move Eddie. Eddie. I was like, oh God, I've got to put my makeup back on. <laughs> I've got to get dressed and go to the Mondrian because I lied about the Madrian, she says. And there he was with his party at the Madrian that he'd moved from his house in Beverly Hills to West Hollywood. I'm like, oh God, that's really nice that you did that. I got all that, I got all, I got all like jittery again. And I'm not a nervous person. I went, I'm just gonna go to the bathroom. And he goes over my dead body. And he walked with me behind me to the bathroom, escorted me, waited for me, then brought me back to the table. And then from that day, he said, can I spend every day with you? See, Meg, uh, uh, Megan, Mel uh, began to spend more and more time at Eddie's Hollywood home. There was talk of marriage after just a couple of months. She says when, he asked, when she asked him to take her away one week, uh, one weekend, he booked a private jet and flew them both to Mexico at just a few hours notice. I'm the true romantic kind of love story kind of girl. I wanted him, says Mel, of the dad of her daughter, Angel. Uh, let's see. I, I will say this, though. Uh, for for Eddie. I don't know if Eddie truly was ready for marriage at that time, but he sure convinced her that he was. Same. He asked my dad if he could take his daughter's hand in marriage. He flew my dad in and he asked him properly. He's a gentleman. Then we designed some rings together and then we planned the baby and we got pregnant. 
and then I felt suffocated. Things went quickly downhill after Mel got pregnant and there were also reports of her clashing with Eddie's mother, Lillian. Uh, see, After a dispute over living arrangements, she fled to Leeds, hoping Eddie would follow her or fight hard to win her back, but he never did despite speaking to Mel's mom on the phone. Then he dropped a bombshell in a promotional interview for a new movie. I don't know whose child that is until it comes out and has a blood test. You shouldn't jump to conclusions, he said, in a move which infuriated Mel. <sighs> Looking back, she says, we're both to blame. I wouldn't have said that publicly, and he apologizes to this day about that. He wishes he never said it because that baby was planned. We planned that baby together and we're madly in love and it just went wrong. Dramatically went wrong. I think Eddie himself maybe have gotten cold feet in this situation. Um, and, you know, you having issues with this with his mother. Again, I don't know how serious Eddie was about marrying her. Again, he was just coming out of a marriage. So I don't know if he was really that serious about marriage. But then you never know. You never really know a situation until it plays out. You know, and, and you would think that things would make it get better for her. And you no, know, things got worse, according to her. You know, but I think we may never know uh, too much about the situation, but would it seem to me that maybe Eddie was sort of like pausing because Mel B is known to be crazy. She is scary spice. Um, if you look at the reports of her, you know, uh, divorce from Steven, she, she's known to be a bit crazy and she's accused that guy. She accused that guy, all kind of stuff. And it was proven to not be true. Okay. Court, at least according to the courts. So there could be a lot more that she's not telling. And for her to be saying this after the fact, you know, she might be just a little cuckoo. <laughs> you know, but I'm the kind of person in those kinds of situations. If something feels morally incorrect for me, especially back then, I wasn't going to back down. The passion, the intense relationship ended in December of 2006. By the time their daughter Angel was born on April 3rd, Eddie was engaged to film producer Tracy Edmonds. The attorney test proved Eddie was the father. Yeah, Eddie moved on quick. <laughs> Mel and Eddie are now friends again. Since she split from her second husband, Stephen of Belafonte, Eddie is back in Angel's life. But she knows she has no chance of getting back together with him, saying he's very happy with his fiance and they're on their second baby. Mel also talks candidly to ITV's life stories uh, about taking cocaine and how she OD'd on pills and wrote a note to escape the toxic relationship with Belafonte. She says she left, says, she says she, he left her with just $900 following their separation and losing 60 million of her fortune. Uh, yeah, that's a, that's, that's, uh, that's a fall. That's a very far fall, you know, very far fall, you know. Uh, and I think that in this particular situation, when you are her and you go through this marriage that you did not really um, feel loved and you did not feel appreciated, you felt was toxic. And now you have all these regrets because you're not with Eddie. And now she's all of a sudden now in 2019 talking about how he's her soul made love of her life and she's in his life women got to understand when you do stuff like that okay it can be problematic for a guy who's in a in a relationship with somebody if he's friends with a woman who calls him her soul mate and love of her life now again they do share uh, a, ch a child together they do 
But for her to be saying this, it's almost like she don't care that he's in a relationship like that. She's going to say this anyway. I'm not saying she should keep this to herself, but you're still, you're friends with him, you know? And you're around him. Not saying a lot, but you're around him. And saying this is also going to, uh, it's going to impact your future relationships because men are going to have to, the men that you meet and possibly want to date are going to have to measure themselves to Eddie Murphy just off of you admitting this.